<laughs> God, I'm a very... Oh, no! <laughs> Oops. Uh, I might have destroyed the creation. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations. Now, what you're seeing in front of me here is probably one of the most unique creations that I've ever seen in Simple Planes. This is a mini game. It is the Star Wars Trench Run game. And I'm really excited to check this out because it just looks so cool. So, anyways, we're going to be checking out some cool creations here today. All the creations will be linked down in the description. If you want to try anything that you see on this episode out. And if you're enjoying Civil Planes on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's jump right into this. Alright, so the Star Wars Trench Run minigame. So as far as I can tell, uh, these are basically on tracks. And you start the game up and these tracks start to go and they start spinning around. So you get the illusion of all these fighters and the little turrets uh, coming at you. So think of the, uh, the Star Wars A New Hope towards the end when he's uh, when Luke's in the Death Star in the little trenches. That's what this is supposed to be like. So let's check out the cockpit. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool looking. Wow. Oh, oh, this whole thing moves. All right, so you can go down, you can go up, you can go left, you can go right. That is so awesome. All right, so supposedly we just hit the one key and... Oh, oh, this, wait, what the heck on? Can we destroy this stuff? Oh, they're firing back. Oh, 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 we're damaged. Oh, and keep hitting them, keep hitting them. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, can you actually destroy them is the question. It's so weird, Summer. Oh, you can. Oh, this is so cool. It's so loud, too. This is a loud creation. Come on, come on, take them out. Take them out. Oh, we're blowing stuff up here. Ooh. God, I'm a very oh no! <laughs> Oops, uh, I might have destroyed the creation. All right, note to self: do not run directly into the Tie Fighters. All right, folks, I figured out what I did wrong. Of course, we're supposed to have the targeting laser. Actually, that's kind of in the way. Uh, this is a little targeting laser uh, that you see in the movie. This is actually, uh, it says it's pointless, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Anyways, we're going to start the mini game back up. Here we go. All right, so I don't think the fighters can really get to the middle. So I don't, oh, okay, I don't want to be right there in the middle. Okay, so I see the TIE fighters. I keep forgetting the one that Vader was in. I is it a TIE interceptor, I think? Uh, oop, okay, that TIE Fighter's down, on. I'm trying to hit the Vader one in the back. Okay, stay, oh, okay. Yeah, there's actual obstacles that you have to avoid. You occasionally see like a, uh, you can kind of go low, but yeah, you can see a little wall coming up here. All right, we need to take out the ones on the end. Hold on, let's go forward. All right, let's go over here. Come on, come on, oh, no, avoid that. Oh, I think we hit the Vader one. Okay, hold on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, oh, okay, we're doing it. Oh, we destroyed the Vader one. Nope, it's still going. Okay. I uh, gotta avoid the lasers. Avoid the lasers. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Keep hitting it. Okay, let's go over. Let's take this one out over here. Oh, that was a good hit. Oh, this is so amazing that people think of stuff like this. This is fun, too. Oh, there's that one. I think we're doing it here. Uh, I think we have to take out the turrets at the bottom, too. So we'll have to go low here in a second. Come on. Come on. Uh, I'm seeing explosions, but I'm not seeing that much damage. Oh, that was a good one. And let's go for this turret down here. That one's taken out. Still aiming for Vader's here. There's still a piece of it left. I mean, it would probably actually be down. Uh oh, hold on, go high. Okay, here we go. Open fire. Come on, take it out. It's moving on me. I'm hitting it every once in a while. It doesn't seem like the, uh... Where you're seeing the tracers go, like it doesn't seem like that's actually hitting at times. Up, up, oh, there we go. I think all targets are down. Trench run is complete. 
That is an absolutely amazing creation. Hold on, can we hit this? Is that a thing? Oh, okay, so yeah, we did have to avoid those. That's so cool. Like, that is so creative. That's fun. I like mini games like this. Maybe we should try out more of these. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna check out here today, and I actually just really wanted to touch on this because I've uh, I've been calling a lot of uh, creations, or a lot of weapons on creations lasers, and somebody was like, you know there's an actual laser mod, right, Komodo? And I finally downloaded it, and you can see it down here. You've got a laser cannon, you've got a super laser, and a tactical laser system. So I'm assuming these work like the uh, like the machine guns. And right now we have the prism fighter, which where is your gun located? Is it that? There it is, right there in the front. Can I just, can I, can I snap that out or is that a custom piece? I don't know if that's a weapon piece or not. I have a feeling that's a bunch of pieces together. So we'll just attach them to the wings here. Let's make sure we line these up. There we go. All right, let's uh, spawn this in real quick and see what this looks like. So lasers. Oh, oh that is loud. What the heck? That is cool though. Wait, what if we were to attach like, oh, one of them fell off. <laughs> I did a very poor job at connecting that. I wonder what type of damage these do. Are these like a steady stream? Like could we sit there and just laser the fleet and take them out completely? I almost want to attach a lot more to this. Huh, let's do that real quick. All right, that is more like it. So that is six laser streams. Let's make sure they don't intersect something and blow this craft up. Oh, that is amazing. Oh yeah, buddy. All right, let's go do some damage. All right, folks, we are approaching the fleet very fast. Uh, I hope this is the answer to taking out the fleet because geez, this is cool. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Uh, those are engaged. Is that light? Oh, that is lighting them up. Look at the flames. Oh, uh oh, oh, it's, it actually overheats. Dude! Oh, wow! This is all you need is lasers! Uh-oh. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Countermeasures, all right, there we go. Countermeasure, 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 okay. Let's just turn around here, and up, up. Let's light up the lasers. Oh, ho, ho. try to grind through the fleet here. Keep the speed up. That is so cool. I almost want to test out like the big mega laser. Like what kind of damage could that do? I don't know what to attach it to though. It might have to be on like an AA gun or something or a tank. I don't know, I'll have to see if I have a craft that we can attach that to. All right, this flak is getting a little close. Oh, let's go back in. Uh, where are they at? There we go. Uh, go ahead. I wonder if this thing could hit rockets. Oh, 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 oh. We're just slicing through the fleet. That is insane. Wow, okay, even the flak is slowed down. This is the coolest mod ever. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. I think I'm faster than the rockets. Where? Why am I still locked on to? Come on, countermeasures. There we go. Come on. There goes that destroyer. Oh, Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was really close. Oh, they're still shooting at me. Okay, so there's that one, there's two destroyers left. Uh, let's make a circle here. I'm gonna get myself killed doing this. Oh, that rocket was close. All right, we're good. Oh, more rockets. Oh, more rockets. Oh, we got hit there. Flak hit us that time. All right, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Sharp turns. Gonna get those rockets off their game. This is intense. I almost want to try a... What if we tried a dogfight like this? Would that be uh, impossible once we light each other up with lasers? All right, there we go. Lighten them up a little bit more. Uh, oh, we got hit by Fleck. That is a really effective method to take out the uh, fleet. I think we did a pretty good job with that. Now, I do, uh, I do have the question. What about dogfights? Like, what happens when there's another plane just like that? Do they actually use the lasers? That could be scary. Those dogfights could end in an instant. Let's go ahead and try that out. All right, laser versus laser. This is going to be overkill, I have a feeling. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, we're already locked on each other. All right, that's, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Where's he at, though? 
Okay, air to air, two miles out. Are you gonna use your lasers? Oh, <laughs> oh no, he does use his lasers. No, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. Okay, I need to get a good hit on him. This is future warfare here, folks. It's lasers. It's amazing. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, I can see the stream of lasers coming off of him. Okay. All right. I hope this engine holds out. If we lose an engine, we are screwed because we're going to lose so much speed. Come on. Keep it going. Oh, we're in a constant circle here. Oh, I should have had those lit up there. Okay. Come on. Oh, I can't get it to pull here. I can't get it to pull at all. Uh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Light him up. He's going to come into view here in a second. I'm going to want to have these things engaged. Oh, see, like that. Han, okay. So let's go out a little bit. Okay, now let's circle. All right, he's firing missiles at me. Countermeasures, okay. Oh, uh, okay. I just lost. No, the engine's still running. How's that still a thing? I don't know. What are these pieces flying from the air? Oh, I got a lock. Ugh. Maybe I should go ahead and have a, a missile arm too. What do we have? Or right, interceptors. All right. Uh, no, no, we're still playing laser wars here. Uh, at least they use the lasers. That's now a, it's giving me some ideas for future dog fights. Uh, we could probably even up this even more. Come on. There we go. Fox three. I don't know if that one's tracking. Fox three. It's release. 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 Some of these are going to be circling around. Release. Come on. I don't know how I've still got a lock on him right now, but I do. Keep releasing. One of these is going to throw him off here. He's going to get hit by one of these interceptors. Okay, I don't want to waste too many more. Let's go down to 10 here. We'll shoot three more of these off. Uh, we got him on the run, though. He is uh, probably panicking right now. I can imagine. Okay. Uh, oh, there's so many missiles in the air right now. Oh, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. All right, he's two miles out. I'm losing capabilities with this jet. My, uh, my turn. Oh, oh, we hit him with one of the missiles. Oh, okay. Whoa, we are, I think we're stalling out or something. Yeah, something is just with that uh, engine. It feels like it's underpowered right now, so I cannot even get this thing to steer right. Yeah, this is not good. That is a cool mod. All right, let's go uh, maybe check out the other weapons. Oh, there we go. We're in a spin now. <laughs> yeah, let's go check out the other ones. All right, so just to test out the other laser real quick, I actually stuck this on a creation that we checked out last Simple Planes episode. And yes, I stuck the super lasers to it because why not? Why would you not do this? Actually, is this going to work? Okay, there we go. So I do have... Oh, I don't have up and down capabilities with this, do I? It's only that... Uh, Oh, man, it's only the, uh, the outer parts that go up and down. Well, it's really just a test. Like, what does this look like when we go... <laughs> what? No. Hold on. That is so ridiculous. All right, so we can't go up and down with the super laser, but I think we should be able to hit the pillar on that bridge. Let's go. Uh, oh! Are you kidding me? Can we break it apart as it's going down? Dude! That's gotta be the strongest weapon in the game. But what can we mount this to? I mean, this reminds me of some orbital cannon stuff here. There's gotta be a vehicle that will mount this, or even a, a plane that you can put this to the front of. It doesn't seem to have any sort of recoil or anything, so I'm not really worried about it throwing the plane off. It's just ridiculous. Like. That is awesome. It's got the lights and everything. That's a really well done mod. You got sound, lights, an absolutely devastating super laser. Like what more could you ask for out of a creation? That would also probably work pretty good on a ship too. All right, so for our next creation here, we have the, I think it's called the Paris class. I don't know if it's called cruiser. Uh, this is a creation from Halo. This is a absolutely devastating creation here in Simple Planes. And really for the simple fact of this is packing the most missiles I've ever seen in a creation. Like, this thing has 80 Guardian, which we're already picking up a plane. And it has 
68 cleavers it's got 68 of basically the strongest uh missile in the game and i don't know where they're storing them hold on i feel like they're storing them in the side doors there where are these at where do you keep that amount of missiles and not be able to see them are they in the guns i don't know hold on let's try just to fire off the guns here okay the guns don't fire hold on let's go one two three four these must come out of some compartment i guess we'll see when we get up in the air all right there we go so we're up in the air now i just figured out okay these are definitely doing one of these is like a super speed here oh let's deactivate these there we go so yeah now uh there is a group to activate the guns and that's the one for the front cannon and i believe the two does the side cannons there so it does have capabilities to fire just normal guns but to me it just blows my mind i've never seen that many cleavers whoa we are cruising how fast are we going right now oh only 2,000 miles per hour and whoa this thing feels like it's shaking itself apart that's nutty okay oh the frame rate is tanking right now all right let's slow this down a little bit maybe we don't need to go that fast oh boy so the cleaver thing that's just tripping me out like how in the heck do you fit 68 cleaver missiles in a creation uh we're about to figure out how good this thing is at targeting hold on let's just slow it down slow it down uh okay so the VTOL controls actually control the turrets the up and down okay that's pretty neat now question is how well does this thing turn oh yeah it's got a wide wide turning radius so um, we need a uh, let's slow this down real quick okay oh boy yeah we're basically just gonna be going straight here I've locked on to the tiny I was actually trying to see if I can hit any of the fleet here but this is gonna take a little bit to turn actually I guess we should go ahead and fire that let's see where that fire up oh, and I'm out of targeting range yeah I'm curious as to where these missiles come out of all right so we're circling around here huh let's see if we can get one of our targets here what is this thing doing Okay, the flight is a little weird for me. Okay, here we go. We should be able to hit those targets. I got my cleavers. Let's go ahead and just arm everything here. All right, come on. S select a target for me. There's a bomber. Oh, well, those do fire. They, I think they fire out the front. No, they're coming out the side. Oh, let's keep firing. Uh, waiting for that bomber to go down. Waiting, waiting. Where are they going? Wait, where are the missiles going? They're shooting out the back. I guess we're moving so fast that they don't have any other option. Okay, do we have or we don't have any ground targets right now. I don't know why we're not picking up the fleet with this. Like we've been around it. We picked up the uh I think the tiny over there. This is a pretty insane creation though. I'm really digging this. Okay, so Komodo's first jet wants to play. It's actually is it chasing me? Hold on, let's slow down a bit. I feel like we're actually getting, yeah, we're in a pursuit here. Hold on, fire a couple of those back at it. I'm really kind of curious as to why it seems like, like these missiles are not reaching their targets. Yeah, they're shooting out the back, but they don't seem effective at the moment. Uh, okay. What about you? I have not seen a destroyed aircraft mentioned yet. Uh, still firing them out the side. All right, do we have any ground targets that we can go over? This is a, it's a kind of a weird craft. I'll be honest with you, just trying to figure this thing out. It is an awesome looking craft, I'll give it that. And I do like how it's packing so many missiles, but I don't know if we're just moving too fast and the targeting can't keep up, or what the deal is there. Still nonetheless, cool craft here. I thought you guys might enjoy this one. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so we've been kind of doing some futuristic military things here. And I thought we would end the episode here with a drop ship. This is really cool. This is a troop transport, uh, which I don't know what kind of troops these are. These, uh, these kind of look like mechs. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nonetheless, this is a very cool creation. Now, you can see we're hovering off the ground right now. And the way this thing works, you'll open up the side doors. I believe the troops have parachutes on them. And you drop them into combat. That is cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take off here. Oh, that thing just goes straight vertical. Wow, that thing lifts really fast. That's really cool. 
All right, so do we have any weapon systems here? Obviously, this would have to come in on some sort of escort or something. There is no guns on this. Uh, you're kind of vulnerable. Do we have countermeasures? Nope, no countermeasures. All right, so this is just a straight up drop ship. So say we're coming into combat here, uh, hopefully with, like I said, an escort. Uh, we need to drop our troops into the combat zone. Uh, let's go ahead, climb here. This thing handles really nice, by the way. I like the way this thing feels. All right, let's flatten it off. Okay, so use the VTOL controls to open the doors. And look at that. Oh, that is so cool how that was actually a... Hold on, let's just retract it real quick. Yeah, how they pop out. Oh, no! Oh! Okay, so there's a such thing as retracting them too far in. I just crushed the troops. I just... Oh, and shake them off. I just crushed the troops, folks. Oh, I feel terrible about that. All right, emergency. We got to drop everybody. Oh, let's go drop. Oop, there goes one, two, three, oh, four. Okay, well, actually, I don't think we have a fourth. I think a couple of the troops blew up there. That was amazing. I kind of want to do that uh, maybe in another run here because I do feel bad about crushing them and blowing them up. Actually, do the troops have cameras on them? Oh, they do. That is cool looking. That is really cool. Wow. All right, let's get back in that and get in the air. All right, since that first attempt was so terrible, uh, we're gonna do that again. So we're over the combat zone. Let's go ahead and open up the sides there. How many troops do we have? Is it six? All right, so we got six paratroopers ready to go, ready for action here. Let's go ahead and go, whoop, there we go. Boom, boom. So that releases all of them there, okay. So we can follow those down. Let's go ahead and close our doors here. Not too tight. All right, so let's switch cameras up here. That's awesome. That is really, really cool. Uh oh, I think I dropped the other guys in the water, didn't I? Is this one going for, oh, this one's going for the water too. Oops, my bad. My bad, I, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, where's the, uh, where's the craft at? Uh oh, uh oh, okay, oh, it's over here. Uh, let's try to, can we turn back towards the, yeah, turning might not be the strong suit of this thing. Hold on, let's deactivate all these. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, I would say let's go back. Do I even see any of them anymore? No, I think they've already made it back pretty much to the ground there, and probably they exploded on impact. Oh, well. Still cool nonetheless. I like uh, creations like that. I like stuff where you can actually store items inside of it, like the, uh, the tank drop we did the other day. Very awesome. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. Uh, like I said, all the creations are going to be linked down in the description if you want to play with anything that you saw in this episode here today. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for all the love and support on Simple Planes, and we will see you guys next time.